Welcome back, but Thank you. We got you in Vegas, um, 2024, kicking off with an awesome fight night. But you're going up against a veteran. How does, how does that feel to go up against a living legend, honestly, in Miller? Well, to be honest, I don't watch fights, so I don't know who, before who it is, this guy. So, <laughs> yes. But um, I, I heard about, 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 about him, and I know he has a lot of fights, and he's a good fighter. But um, I'm excited. You know, I, I know like the, the the little bit that I know is uh he's a he's a good fighter, he's a tough fighter, so he's not new in this in this. So he he he's like me. He, he wanna try to go to do like show. So I'm ready for that. Does that help at all in like the mental aspect where you say, Oh, he's good at that or he's good at this and really good jujitsu and really good power? Does that help you to not know your opponent and just say, you know what, I'm not going to think about what they're doing. I'm going to think about what Benitez is doing. Well, to this, in, in this level, everyone are good. So that's why everyone, you know, they fight in this, this company. So uh, when we step the cage, the, the octagon, uh, it's just him, the referee, and me. So I don't care about he's good and something. So that's what I, I, I do my game plan. I train hard, and that's it. And speaking of training hard, you are going in there with someone just like you who can go a hard 15 minutes or possibly end it early. What do you expect going in? What are, what are some of your advantages? What makes you excited about this fight? Well, like, like I say, I know he's a, uh, he, he has a lot of experience in this, in this game, right? So it's going to be an uh, excellent fight to watch, an exciting fight to watch. So, like... Uh, if, I, I don't care if the, the fight goes on the ground, if the, guy go, if the fight goes like a stand up, I'm ready for that. So I train hard and I'm ready for any challenge. Excellent. And 2024, you guys are the first fight, I mean, the first, you know, UFC event. Is that part of your goals? And if so, what are your goals for this year besides to be more active, get in there, stay in the octagon? Yeah, well, like we're supposed to fight before in, in February, right? Like against Jim Miller. Uh, Unfortunately, I had like some some injuries, so that's why I, we put, uh, we moved the fight. And um, this year, I, I I'm so grateful and glad to fight in like January. It was bad in in Christmas and New Year because you know like food. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad because that's mean I have more time to like if if I don't get a, a serious injury, I can I can fight like. Frequently, not just one or two fights of the year. I want to fight more, like three, or four. So, so that is good to to fight like in January. Do you have any besides being active and staying healthy, of course? Yes. Is there anything specific for 2024 you want to share with us that you want to accomplish in your career, even the title? Actually, keep fighting and get money. <laughs> that's that's the goal. Like everyone wants to, everyone want, uh, try to look the, the the belt, but right now, like. We need money. Every fighter, we need money. And speaking of, of belts and winning money and everything else in between, you have Kane in your corner. How, how much of a factor will that be in to have somebody like that train with, mentor you, guide you? Yeah, well, like, you know, like, Kane was the champ before, and is, he has a lot of experience. But the, the good thing, like him, he know how to share the experience because I know a lot of fighters that are super good or coaches, that, well, fighters, that, they're super good, but they don't know how to – show you know and i'm glad and i feel like right now kane is like a, like a big brother for everyone else. Excellent. yeah so I, i'm glad and i feel like like grateful to have it in my corner again excellent and, and last for me uh, para tus fans que te esperan ya regresas al octágono te podemos ver en acción estamos esperando aparte de tener a, a velázquez en tu esquina que podemos esperar este sábado y aparte este año para benítez Hubieras empezado con calabas español. <risa> ya se me acabó todo el inglés. No, no es cierto. <risa> bueno, ¿de qué puedes esperar de, de, de Gabriel Mugle Benítez? Este, una pelea muy emocionante, muy interesante y, y estar activo más que nada. Este, Caín va a, ser, va a ser mi esquina, Caín, este próximo sábado. Y como lo dije, Caín ha sido un, es como un hermano mayor para todos nosotros. Y por algo fue el campeón, ¿no? Él tiene muchísima experiencia y lo más importante es que sabe cómo expresarla. Y nomás una... Um. Obviamente Cain sabe de lucha, tú también. Miller es alguien que sabemos, no es secreto, que es increíble en la lona, te planta y ahí te mantiene. 
¿anticipas que la pelea se vaya a la lona y, o, y estén en el piso? ¿O tú dices donde quieran, con, como quieran? Para eso me preparé, para eso entrené duro. Este, la pelea puede estar de pie, puede estar a ras de lona, para eso nos preparamos y estamos listos para lo que sea. Está bien, gracias. Thank you. Well, I just want to add a couple of questions in Spanish. Uh, Mowgli, eh, bueno, entre tú y Jim Miller suman más de 80 peleas eh, profesionales. ¿Cómo evalúas el hecho de, de tener a dos peleadores tan experimentados en el octágono? Bueno, este, Jim Miller, como lo repito, es, es un peleador experimentado con muchísimas peleas, al igual que yo, entonces va a ser una pelea muy emocionante, ¿no? porque los dos tenemos muchísima experiencia y, y es lo que la gente quiere ver, ¿no? quiere ver pelea, quiere ver algo, algo entretenido de ver y es lo que les vamos a dar. Eh, bueno, es un sueño guajiro, pero si todo sale bien, ¿has pensado en decir al UFC, quiero pelear en México también? Obvio, claro. Este, si, si no se puede en febrero, esperemos que se pueda. Este, todo, todo depende, de, no, no estoy viendo ahorita futuro, ¿no? ahorita estoy viendo simplemente este próximo sábado, que es la pelea esta. Y lo, lo importante lo, y, lo, y lo mejor es, no salir, es salir sin lesiones, ¿no? O, o eso es lo, lo, lo más importante para mí, salir sin lesiones y para poder pelear y regresar pronto. Y si se puede en México, pues estaría perfecto. Gabriel, la última. Eh, bueno, ¿qué, ¿cómo defines al Mowgli que, que estaba en Tijuana, al Mowgli que está ahora en San José? ¿Qué tanto ha cambiado o qué tanto has cambiado como persona y como peleador? Bueno, Thank you. Lo, lo que es el Mowgli que era antes, pues no, ya obviamente ya no es nada, ¿no? Este, simplemente... Siento que he madurado muchísimo en mis, en mis entrenamientos, este, soy una persona más, más consciente, ¿no? No, ya este, se puede decir que un poco más vieja, pero no es el mismo Mowgli de, de que era antes, ¿no? un joven que no le importaba si estaba lesionado, seguía entrenando, si se lastimando más, ahorita trato de cuidarme más porque quiero tener una carrera acti activa, entonces creo que, que es, eso, es, eso fue bueno, ¿no? el cambio fue bueno y más que nada salir de la zona de confort. Gracias. I just want to ask a little bit about your layoff. What, um, what was going through your mind during that time? Were you worried that you might not be able to make a return? Oh, yeah. It was tough because it was one year, right? So, and I get a serious injury. But uh, right now, it feels so good. And now, I'm, I might never, I never think like, oh, I'm, I'm out, right? Uh, because I heal fast, so I have good genes. <laughs> so, but yeah, like, uh, just, the, just the waiting, just one year, I was like, oh shit, we need money, we need to live. So I'm glad right now to, you know, to return. How were, how were you able to stay positive during that time? Well, I keep my, my mind focused again, you know, like I, I never lose, lose my goal. And, uh, and I still training, so that's make me like, okay, I feel good in this training, so. I'm ready to return. And there's also a lot of talk amongst fans about ring rust. Do you believe in ring rust? Do you think that's a mental thing? Do you feel like that's just not even something you even consider? Nah, not yet. <laughs> But um, no, it's not on my mind. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Thank you.